Hi everyone, welcome to MFCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to be doing bubble paintings. For your bubble paintings you will need some paper, whatever color you have on hand will work, some food coloring. If you have bubble mix you can use some pre-made bubble mix but if you do not have bubble mix some regular soap, either dish soap, hand soap, or whatever other kind of soap that you have, and some water will also work. You'll need a few dishes for your different colors and a straw. I took this one out of my water bottle. If you do not have a straw, you can use a bubble wand too. I'll pause and wait for you to gather all the supplies. Feel free to stop the video while you do that. Now that you've had a chance to gather all your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way so I have some room to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix up my bubble solution. So I'll show you both methods. The first one is just using the regular bubble mix. All you need is a little bit of bubble mix in your bowl or other small container. Then you can add your favorite color of food coloring to make the bubbles the color that you would like. The more food coloring you add, the darker the bubbles will be. Feel free to also mix together colors to create new ones. Like if you want purple, you could use blue and red food coloring mixed together to make purple. I have some green with the regular bubble mix and I'll also show you how to do this with the water and soap. So all you need for that is just a little bit of water, not too much. And then a little bit of soap. The exact amounts don't matter so much. You just need to be able to blow bubbles with it. I think I'll make this one blue. Since I'm only adding one drop, this one should be lighter. Hmm. It feels a little too watery still. I'm going to add a little bit more soap. So the next thing that I'll do is show you how to do the bubble paintings. I have my colors. Remember, you can mix up as many colors as you would like for your bubble paintings. Here's my piece of paper. So the important part about bubble painting is that when you have your straw in the bubble mix, you do not want to put the straw in your mouth. The bubbles taste really, really gross if you get them in your mouth. So make sure that you dip, lift up, and then blow. That was a really big bubble. You can see that it went all the way around there. Let's try another one. You can also make littler bubbles. If you have trouble blowing the bubbles, you can have your grown-up help you, and then you can poke the bubbles to make them pop. I'll also try the blue. That one made a very little bubble. I think it might need a little more soap. Ah, there we go. That worked better. Well, I hope you enjoy making bubble paintings. Remember, you can make whatever colors you want and blow as many bubbles on each page as you want. And if you have trouble blowing the bubbles, have your grown-up help you and you can poke them to pop them. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! 